And as always, and as always, some interesting questions arise. Yeah, it's like to him put it. I mean, it's only in a, in a very, very bizarre world, right? Could I be talking to someone called Ian Puddick, isn't it? Right? You've got to see it for weird. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, this Tony Mortimer and all that, they don't want to get involved because the deal was done, wasn't it? Brian's broke the code. He's broke the ethic, which is why we know he's working for the evil because you wouldn't break the ethic unless they fucking told you to, they forced you into it. You know, you get raped as a, a young lad in the music business, don't you? And then you get a bit older and they get you tipsy on drugs and whatever and then trap you with an underage person, I would imagine. Film it. So they can just make you do anything they want and they do this at early doors. Young lads you know, getting the buzz of becoming famous and feeling all powerful and, you know, they're actually at a very low sort of easy to manipulate stage in their life, just age wise anyway, and then you put the fame and the money there and I wouldn't like to say, would you? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> young, dumb and full of cum and all that, fuck's sake. But Tony Martin, I don't want to get involved. It's not a joke, is it? I mean, you could decode some of this, couldn't you, I would imagine. Safe for three or any that. Alame. Remember the Alame? Oh, that's just shit, is it? It's on the thing. So you can't steal it. I mean, why would you want to fucking steal it? Off to me, looks like someone that's having his shit pushed into me. <laughs> <laughs>